Hi you peeps, just a quick video to show you how I mix my acrylic coloured powders. So as you can see I take clear acrylic powder and I put the amount I need and then I put a bit of white acrylic powder. Now it is important that the white acrylic powder polymer and the clear acrylic powder polymer are from the same brand that's really important don't is you know don't mix brands because their chemical composition although yes they are all acrylic they're slightly different so yeah don't don't mix brands and then I add in a bit of mica and that the mica I use is it's cosmetic safe so always make sure it's cosmetic safe. I actually get my mica from um, a company called Mica Mama and it's all cosmetic grade and they, they do big sizes. Because I actually used to make soap and stuff. I'm sure I've mentioned it in another video. But yeah, so I've got a lot of a lot of mica and I at one point was going to sell mica. So I actually have a lot of samples from another company as well. But yeah, I always make sure that they're cosmetic grade and they have the MSDS sheets available, etc. So yes. And then I get my little mortar and pestle and I grind away. As you can see, I just whiz, 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 whiz. And make sure there are no lumps of mica left. Because if there are any lumps of mica left, then you're going to get streaks and dark spots. And you don't want that. So... As you can see, I'm just testing out what the colour looks like. If the colour is too translucent, I'll add a bit more white, which I'm doing now. A bit more colour because I wanted it a bit more vibrant. So yeah, that, that this is how I do it. It just literally little bits at a time until you get the colour you want. Because you can always add, but you can't take away. So you know the old adage works for this situation <laughs> and this is literally all I do it's so easy I see I'm trying to bash out some lumps there well lumps of mica powder because mica powder although it's really fine it can clump so yes grind away grind away so I've wiped out my, I poured the powder into a little pot and I've cleaned my mortar and pestle off, you know, wiped them out and I'm going in with the next colour because I wanted purple but I wanted a dark purple in the next video you'll see what I do with these colours you'll see the set that I use them on so I'm going to be editing that one next so yeah You'll see what I what I do with these colours. I was actually trying to match them. I think I show you. Yeah, I do. I show you at some point. I think it's when I test the purple. I'm trying to match it to uh, a glitter mix that I got from Smiley's Glitter Store. I love Smiley's Glitter Store. She has the most gorgeous mixes, and Sarah is just such a lovely person. Can't go wrong. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm trying to mix it to Rave Glitter Mix. So as you saw, I just you know tested it out on the kitchen paper, make sure it's the right colour, and we're going in again. This time I only poured out the colour into the pot because I'm using purple again, so it didn't really matter if there was a little bit of purple left in the pestle mortar or on in and on the mortar and pestle. Yes, whiz, 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 grind away, grind away. It does give me arm ache and finger ache doing this, that's why I don't mix too many colours in one go. Just do a couple at a time. Well, probably max four, wouldn't do any more of all my hands will be able to cope. Yes, mixy, 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 and then test it. It needs more white, but if it's too translucent, add more white. If it's the colour's not deep enough, add some more colour. See, I'm adding some more white because it was too translucent. I 
Now obviously when you add the white it will lighten the colour a bit so if it is if it does and that's not what you were after then you obviously are gonna have to add some more mica to it but yeah. Wish I could do this this fast. Obviously I've sped this up, my hands do not work that quickly. <laughs> testing it again yeah, and I'm happy with that so I always put a little swatch on top of the lid I also do swatch sticks too and then into the pot it goes and that's it it's ready to use so if you want acrylic colours you can actually make them yourself there you have it all done Thanks for watching. See you next time, peeps.